Hi, it's me. I want to welcome you to one of the design studios of Ubersticks. This is uh, where stuff happens. Oh, can't go over there. What's under there? Prototypes. So, ah, we've got some new things. You haven't seen these on the market yet. This is the Uber Cutter. And. I'm going to get to that later. This is amazing. Okay. Now we've got the Uber Cutter Craft Kit, which I'll get to later. We've got the monorail down here. There's a video up on YouTube now for it, and it's getting a lot of views. There's a lot of interest in it. Uh, probably because it's a lot of fun. All right, it's very, uh, let's see if we get a close up here. And it's crazy, it's more than 20 feet, 20 lineal feet of track and you can build it any way you like. You can go up, down, around, straight, sideways. It climbs uh, 30 degree grade. And, um, okay, so I'm going to get on to, oh, there's the Uber Cutter. I'm going to get back to that later. What I'm going to show you right now is the, um, the new, one of the new Aeroforce gliders. And I'm going to start with, um, if you can see that or not, Vortices. Yeah, I don't think you can read that. In any case, uh, so when you build a plane with a construction kit, uh, it should fly, right? That's our attitude here at Uber 6. You get the components in the back, you get the other planes that you can build. So I'm going to open this up and build it. I'm going to show you some, uh, tech, some a few uh, tips and tricks on how to make it fly amazing and then uh, leave the door open for you to experiment because this plane can be built in a thousand different ways and you can add it together with other planes to create biplanes, triplanes, uh, all kinds of uh, anything you can imagine really. Once you know the basic principles of, of uh, what causes it to fly uh, then you're off and running. So, um, let's get to it. Check this out. Uber sticks parts lock right on to the foam wings. The front part of the wing goes in the top of the quark and the eye stick goes in the bottom opening here. But over here, the back of the wing goes in the middle of the quark and the eye stick goes in the bottom row. So landing assembly, if it's tilted forward or back, it's going to change the weight ratio and balance of the plane. But this is something that you can only determine by taking it out and flying it. <laughs> 